hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to create a token with anti-bot and anti-dump features as well as other cool features and i will be giving the source code for free as well so make sure to watch the video till the end as we set up and then you can get the source code on my github now this is a smart contract and uh, everything you need to do is you go to the line you can search for the fee as i like to do to find it faster uh, you start setting up at the line 339 where we set the contract name let's say uh, my token and then here we have the dead address which you don't have to change we have token name and symbol after that we have a total supply which is 1 billion at the moment you can change this if you want to add more zeros but uh, it's the same number here there's no decimals you need to add so if you want 1 billion you simply add 1 billion here after that we have the max transaction which is uh, total supply divided by 800 and is 0.125 percent max transaction and we have max wallet supply max wallet size same divided by 400 okay after that you can change these as you wish after that we have here the liquidity fee so liquidity fee is the fees that are collected and added to the liquidity we have this at zero at the moment we have giveaway fee uh, which is at 1% you can always change this you can change this is just a name you can use this for uh, lottery fee or anything else or simply uh, uh, tax fee for the devs or anything after that we have dev marketing fee which is at 2% this is uh, usually done for 1% dev and uh, one percent marketing you can change this as you wish and then we have the total fee which is 33 uh, percent after that we have the anti-bot and anti-dump functions we have the first one here which is extra fee for those who sell within the first 24 hours after purchase so we have higher tax 10% if the holder is holding for less than 24 hours and they want to sell they will be charged 10% extra fees plus these after that we have the anti-dump period which is 30 minutes this helps a lot with the bots so if a bot buys they cannot sell for 30 minutes without getting charged the anti-dump tax tax so let's say a bot buys right on the lounge if they sell within 30 minutes they will be charged 10 percent extra fee and then another 10 percent for uh, selling within 24 hours so they will not be making any uh, probably making any money and they will not drain your contract after that we have the router address you don't have to change these and also the receivers the liquidity giveaway and marketing receiver we set them on the deployer here later okay after that you set uh, the router address this is depending on what network you want to launch 
we want to launch on uh, Binance Smart Chain, so we will be setting the PancakeSwap uh, router. You can uh, use this, to this uh, smart contract in any network. All you have to do is change the router address. After that, we have the swap threshold. The swap threshold is uh, the moment the smart contract has collected a certain amount of fees and it swaps to BNB or Ethereum to send all the fees to the dev and add liquidity. So we have a swap threshold uh, total supply divided by five, uh, 400 and we have swap minimum. This is the minimum the contract will swap. It will not swap until it reaches this uh, amount which is a total supply divided by 10,000. You can use a calculator to calculate these so you get what you want. After you have set up all of these you can go simply compile and then go to the deployer. Here at the deployer you need to make sure you select the right contract because a lot of people do this mistake and deploy immediately without uh, selecting uh, the right contract. So the right contract is the one that we named. Select the contract and now here you set the addresses. This one is the contract that receives the liquidity tokens when the liquidity is added. This one gets the giveaway for, uh, fee and this one gets the dev and the marketing fee. You can as well set uh, the same address to all of them and then you can go ahead and deploy. It costs like five dollars to deploy. I'm gonna spend that on this video so you might want to subscribe and leave a comment what you think about this video so I can keep doing more of these. Okay now I'm gonna show you how to verify it because uh, contracts with uh, uh, deployer are it are a bit more complicated to verify. Okay, we have successfully deployed. Now we go to the contract, verify and publish. Make sure we select the same compiler version we used single file 8.11 and the license is MIT why I say the the contracts with the deployer have uh, sometimes issues to deploy is that the ABI sometimes is wrong and you have to delete some parts of it. So if you try and it doesn't verify, try to delete some of the code and you will get it right. There is as well another way where you it shows you here that which part is wrong, but you will figure it out. Okay, it verified and as you can see here now we also have the functions to edit uh, to edit uh, the fees the anti-dump tax and all others okay so this is it guys thank you for watching uh, check the link on the description to get the source code on my github thank you and see you next time